<clears throat> Dear humans, I stand here today not for myself, but for every tail wagger, sloppy kisser, and curtain ninja. I stand here for each one of the thousands of dogs and cats killed in shelters each day, asking you to join our cause and help us make sure every best friend has a chance to meet one of their own. With Best Friends Animal Society leading the charge and your help, we can save them all. for joining us for Pet Connect. I'm Tara Douglas. We've got a lot of puppies at the shelter right now and we'll be talking to our special guest in a moment about fostering. So if you're interested in fostering, that would help the shelter out a tremendous amount. We had 16 puppies dropped off just last week at the shelter and we have a lot of young dogs that have been growing up at the shelter. So our pet of the week this week is one of those dogs. We have Mac who has been at the shelter since he was a few months old. He is uh, now over a year old and he is hanging in there and still just uh, the, one of the greatest dogs when we go out for shelter walking. So if you're interested in a younger dog that's out of that puppy stage but still young enough to have a good time, then Mac is your dog. He is heartworm negative, he is already fixed and he's ready to go to a home. So come on out, you know, we're out there every Saturday volunteering from 11 to 1. So you can come out and walk the dogs or you can come out and especially meet Mac or one of the many adolescent dogs that are there that are just sadly growing up at the shelter. So we're hoping to find more homes for them. And we also have a couple events coming up so that we can stop this, um, the shelter being overrun with animals. We have our spay neuter voucher event coming up. It is coming up April 20th, nine to 12, or nine until we run out of vouchers. And that is at PetSense on Highway 280. It's for Talladega and Coosa County residents and it, those vouchers are $30, regardless of it's a male cat, female cat, male dog, female dog, anything to get your cat or dog fixed. And so just come on out, the line will be long, so make sure you get there early since we, had, we did run out last time. And those vouchers are good for uh, uh, Alabama spay and neuter, that's in Irondale. And we do have a, um, a transport that leaves here from Silicaga if you don't wanna take your dog or cat up there yourself. So they do make it pretty simple. And then we also have a fundraiser coming up for the Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill. This is our Cheesecake Mother's Day fundraiser. We're taking orders right now, and you can see on the graphic that we've got all kinds of great um, options. We've got strawberry cheesecake, Reese's, turtle, got a little sampler platter, and a lot of people love to just get those beautiful strawberries decorated. So hop on to the Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill Facebook page to get information. You can also email us at the Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill at gmail.com and then we can get your order in for all of your cheesecake needs for Mother's Day. Now let's get to our special guest. I'm very excited to talk to Erica Cat. She is a part of the musical group Cherry Avenue with her husband, Adam. Erica also fosters cats for feral dogs of Avondale Mill, and she teaches fitness classes at Diamond Fitness. So Erica, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. So we were really excited to have you come to Food Truck Friday last yes. Friday at, at, during the Marble Festival. So I finally got to hear you and your husband <laughs> live. I mean, I follow you on Facebook. I do listen to your music, but you guys did a beautiful job. Well, thank you. Man, we had so much fun doing that on Friday. It has been, we've kind of taken a year off to reset and just kind of work on some things behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have two small children. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a minute since we've been able to play together yeah. and we're just trying to establish ourselves here in Silicaga. And um, actually you yeah. were kind enough to set that up for us. So thank you yeah. and um, get us that in there. It was just nice to be playing with my husband again, yeah. that's kind of what drew us to each other. So being able to do that again um, was a lot of fun. And you can tell that the two of you just enjoy getting up there we and do. singing. It's so fun. And we got pictures of you up there right now. <laughs> that it was it was just such a great night. And I could tell everybody enjoyed having you there also. <laughs> now tell us about how you started. Did you meet your husband through music or what? Um, yeah, so we both went to Bethel University. It's a school in West Tennessee. And I went on a musical theater scholarship, and he was there for music. Um, so he, he kind of hopped around. He played guitar and choir, and then he did it in the bluegrass group, and he played it in the Southern Gospel group. So he kind of, he was a hopper wherever okay. they needed him to play, and he played bass in the Southern Gospel group. And it's, 
under an umbrella called Renaissance at Bethel, and it's just all the music groups. So we were all kind of one family. So we actually met at a songwriters competition back before I was a decent songwriter. I was terrible, but I entered anyway because one of my teachers offered extra credit and I was like, I can't pass an opportunity for some extra credit. Yeah. And he actually won the competition and I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta meet that guy. I gotta write with him. <laughs> and one thing led to another and now we're married with two kids. <laughs> now you primarily, so you do some um, country music, mm -hmm. you do some Christian music. Yeah. And you also sang Journey at the... <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah. Whenever, uh, so we like a lot of classic rock. We yeah. just like, you know, music that everybody likes. But we, our main genre is country and we do a lot of Christian and definitely a lot of classic rock. It's just, it's just fun. Because you had some of your own original music that you played yes, there we as did. well. Yes, for sure. Now tell us about your album coming out. Well, it is in the final stages of production right now. So it's been a really long process. I mean, creating an album takes a lot of time. You know, first you have to write the album and we wrote every song on the album. Um, and then you have to do the production and the vocals and then the mixing and mastering and it's finally in the mastering stages. So that's the last, um, the last little key segment. So after we get all those mastered, we'll be able to come up with a release date. So we're really excited. It'll be our first full album that we've put out. So that's great. You'll have to have that. to let us know and we can announce your release date. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now what brought you to Silicaga? So we actually came to Silicaga with a group. Um, we were doing, um, publishing for them. So okay. kind of the writing side of things okay. and, um, didn't exactly work out the way that we thought it would, but we know that God brought us here for a reason. So now we're just kind of trying to find our own footing here and just change directions. Um, that's the funny thing that's about funny. God. <laughs> he, funny. he may tell you to go somewhere and, and you, you don't know why you you're there. You have your first. own plans in your head. And then it's like, no, that's not, that's yeah. not what I had for you. So um, we're excited about what's to come, though. Well, that's great. I mean, I, I, I was <laughs> so excited to hear you, like I said, and it was <laughs> it was very nice to have you there at the at Food Truck Friday and to let everybody hear. And so hopefully that'll open up a lot more opportunities for oh, you. Yeah. And now, how can people find out where you'll be performing? So we put everything on our Facebook page. It's just Cherry Avenue. You look it up and you'll see a picture of my husband and I. Um, I look like this. <laughs> my husband has dark hair. Um, we saw his picture. <laughs> it's all spiky, you know. Um, and we post there, but we also post on Instagram or TikTok. It Dep okay. depends on what avenue that you like to go through. But mostly Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We also have like a Bands in Town page. Okay. So if you're on Bands in Town, you can follow us on there. Okay. And, and we put it on there as well. Well, that's great. <laughs> now... Let's talk a little bit. I mentioned that you foster, so yeah. you foster kittens, I do. which is really cool because your last name's Cat and yes. you foster kittens. So <laughs> yeah. these are some of your past fosters. I, oh my goodness, those were our first babies. Now, do you have your own cats? We do. Yes. Okay. So we have. So our um, oldest cat, he is fourteen, and he actually was a rescue as well. So he's from a shelter. He's a Maine Coon mix, and he is kind of. Unfortunately, on his last leg, mm -hmm. um, he is, he's older, but he also has kidney disease, so he's um, not doing too well. So, um, and I lost my, my cat, that was my husband's cat, and we lost my cat shortly after we moved to Alabama. Okay. She had a pulmonary embolism, and she would have been uh, 12 at the time. Okay. So, what we kind of thought we would do is foster kittens mm -hmm. to find our, my next forever cat. Okay. Um, you know, I, I do believe that you can create bonds with animals and that certain certain kittens or certain mm -hmm. dogs, I love all of all animals, yes. but there's certain ones you just connect with. So we actually were like, well, let's just foster kittens and <laughs> we'll Fun. find one eventually. And while you're finding it, you can help the, help the cat population. Yes, here. that was our last litter. Oh, they were so cute. We just got rid of that last one here recently, mm -hmm. but it's been so much fun. I, we really have the perfect house for it. We have an older cat, we have a dog, we have two kids. So it, it really just sets the, the animal up for success because whatever home they go into. They're um, used to yes, action Yes, they're and used activity. to, and they're mm -hmm. used to a lot going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a, a, well, she just turned three. I have a three-year-old and a four-year-old. So, so these kids get lots of, energy. of activity. <laughs> yes, it's a lot. And, and they just pick them up and, 
you know, carry them around everywhere. And uh, one of my friends adopted a kitten from the last batch that we had. And she actually was like, you know, she's great, but I just keep waiting for her to smack my kid because he is just so rough with her. And I'm like, no, she won't because she's used to it and she she loves it. And as long as they're not hurting them, um, then they yeah, don't just care. Let them, they let just, them play. They see it as love. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the fostering world because yes. you know, I talk about fostering on here a lot. I bring fosters on to discuss it. Mm -hmm. How did you get into it? How does that work? How do you find out that there are kittens available? What? Um, well, I had the way I found out about it is a friend of mine had shared a post on Facebook, and um, I saw a kitten that looked like my kitten that had mm. passed, and I was like, "Oh, I want that kitten." Well, I, I reached out, and they were like, "Well, she's with a foster already," you know. And then I thought, "Well." That I we did that back in Nashville one time when we first moved there, and I thought. Well, you know that sounds like fun and be helpful so i thought well we'll just get we'll foster one kitten mm -hmm. so we fostered one kitten and then it turned into two kittens and then the next time she, there were kittens i was like well we'll take three <laughs> <laughs> and then i was like she's like i have a pregnant mom does anybody want to foster and i was like oh me i've never <laughs> i've never gotten to be there for baby kittens so i thought yeah. that sounds like fun so we fostered that cat and she had the four babies and then we just got all of those um, adopted. So now we're kind of waiting for our next uh, next foster. I don't think I'll do a pregnant mom again only because with toddlers, I have a lot happening. Tough. But it's just so much fun. But you can follow the Feral Dogs page. But if you're interested in fostering, you just reach out on that page mm -hmm. and then Mitzi will connect you. And same thing in the dog world if you're interested in um fostering puppies. Mm -hmm. I know right now I just got done potty training children, so I'm like, I'm not as keen on dogs right now, but cats for me are just super, yeah. super easy. But once the kids are older, I think I'll try just my hand at puppies. foster all kinds of creatures. <laughs> yeah. and, and it is something to where if you want to foster, then all the supplies are provided, then you just have to provide the home and the love and all the activity like you yeah. did. Yeah. And it's, um, it's, it's a really, uh, it's a rewarding situation. And we do have so many kittens and so many puppies in this area that need to be fostered, that need to go somewhere. And, you know, we often have uh, 50 kittens in foster at Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill. So, you know, that helps. And then did your did your fosters get adopted from PetSense or did you find people directly to This adopt last them? set of four that we had um, actually were all adopted before they got to make it to PetSense, which okay. is amazing. The mom went to PetSense and she was adopted. One thing I do want to say too, I hear a lot of people say, I don't have time to foster. You know, I don't have enough. I can't give them enough attention. I just want to say if, if you don't foster and that's your excuse, they're at a shelter or maybe even euthanized. Mm -hmm. So even if you have two hours of your day to give them love and attention, that's more than they're going to get mm -hmm. if they're in a shelter or if they're euthanized and which happens a lot. And, um, so I know that's a big thing. I don't have enough time to do that, you know. Well, you don't need a lot of time. No. I mean, if just, you have it, that's great, but they don't they just need a little love. They, they just and they need, need to, to know. and it helps them to get away from that shelter situation yes. because it is such a stressful place. It's, yes. they do the best they can. They take great care of those animals, but it is a, a stressful spot for right. animals to grow up. Yes. So it's you know, it's one of those things again, if you will uh, agree to foster <laughs> even if you just try it once then we always oh, yeah. need a lot of fosters. And if you can't mm -hmm. foster, you know, you can donate, mm -hmm. donate money or supplies. We're always needing that. Or you can come walk the dogs every Saturday. I've done that a few times. It's, it's hard for me to so sneak away ways. with kids, mm -hmm. but um, I've done it a few times. It's just so rewarding and so much fun, and they're so good. If if you're a little timid, they'll give mm -hmm. you the little the easy dogs, you know. <laughs> I know. So you don't need to be afraid of like, oh, that's a lot going on. Yeah. If you're like, no, I don't want a big dog, then there are plenty of small ones and, to walk. And, and especially right now with so many young <clears throat> dogs yes. there that are out of that puppy phase, they've had all their shots. They're okay to get out. They're little. They're they're not great on leashes because they've never been on one, but they're yeah. a little easier to control because they're smaller. So we've got yeah. lots of options there and. <laughs> Um, so absolutely, let Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill know. You can message mm -hmm. us on Facebook if you're interested in fostering or give one of the volunteers a, a call. And certainly follow Erica on Facebook, follow Cherry Avenue so that you can see where she's going to be performing. And <laughs> we've run out of time to talk about your fitness classes, but oh, if you want right. to take some, some classes with Erica, we'll have her back on to talk about that. She works at Diamond Fitness and I love all your classes. You do such a beautiful <laughs> job Thank there. You. So 
there's a, a lot of opportunity there to take some great classes. And so we can see you around town in so many ways. So yeah. <laughs> we're glad you're here. But um, make sure to follow, again, Feral Dogs and so that you can see Mac available there from the shelter. And then you can also um, check a little more information about our spay neuter event coming up on the 20th at PetSense, as well as order those cheesecakes for your mom for Mother's Day. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll have more Daybreak after these messages.